Hi Capricorn, welcome to your reading. If you're new to the channel, I do timeless readings, which means that whenever you find this video is when you're he you're meant to hear the messages within it. And in case you subscribe, I upload my new videos for Cancer and Capricorn. Oh, for Cancer and Capricorn on Thursdays. And the deck that I'm using today is called the Morgan Greer Tarot. And as always, if you guys are interested in getting a personal reading, I have the link in the description. I do see the cards that have flipped over within the deck. I won't, however, take them unless they pop out. Like this. All right, so your overall energy is the Six of Wands, which tells me that you guys are gonna see a lot of victory coming up. The Six of Wands, the symbolism behind it is that he's a warrior that's come back from a battle and he's obviously the winner. So now he's coming back and he's going to be showered by praise when he comes back. So I definitely feel that you guys if there's something that's weighing on your mind, I'm hearing business for a lot of you guys. You're going to see a lot of victory and a lot of um, sort of next level energy, if that makes any sense. I think that for a lot of you guys right now, you might really be slaving away uh, at your work. Because I see this seven of pentacles, the sun, and this king of rods and all the men in these pictures are all looking towards the left and then on the top row there's the queen of pentacles and the lovers which is in reverse but the woman that's uh in the lovers reverse is facing both uh in the opposite direction so i almost feel like there might be some competing interests going on right now uh my advice would be don't you know, neglect your personal relationships, not just in love, but with, um, you know, friends, family, that kind of, an, uh, of a thing, just because I sense that if you slave away at work too much, you might see some issues, um, particularly with your family and your relationships. But that being said, in your career life, I really do feel that you're seeing a lot of a lot of dividends paying out because with the seven of pentacles that's sort of like my survey card like taking inventory seeing what's working seeing what's not working and i really do feel that you guys are seeing a lot of especially if you're uh, talking about work or business you're seeing a lot of improvement and the six of wands along with this sun card is what leads me to believe that However, I do want to point out that in case you guys are um, looking and working towards primarily and mostly just a relationship in love, like if that's your main concern, then I definitely see that this energy could apply to that as well. I, I feel like you're definitely seeing that things are paying off. And now let me sort of take a little short break here. Um, and talk about this tower card because whenever the tower card comes up, it might be, it has the tendency to be pretty scary. I just looked at my clock and it was at four, 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 right? So four is a number stability. So I think that what's going on here is that you guys 
have sort of built a tower up on a foundation that isn't quite stable. I feel like there's something somewhere in your life and it could be this work-love balance, work-life balance that is causing sort of frictions and tensions. But whatever it is, it's coming down because whenever you see the tower, it's a huge revolution and it means something is gonna come down. I think definitely, however, it's not gonna be a negative experience. I'm almost sure that you're gonna end up winning in the end because you have this uh, six of wands with the sun again, like though, let me just, just to reiterate, the sun card is the most positive card and is the happiest card of the deck, of the tarot deck, so that means that you guys are in for a lot of success. And I think that whatever has got you down right now don't sweat about it too much just because I see all of this success coming in. I, I definitely sense the fear of failure, especially with the lovers in reverse. I think that you guys might be really concerned that what you're doing is leading to um, sort of damaged relationships. But I don't think that's um, going to be true for you guys because the tower is here. And the tower is here to change things that don't work in your life. And I think that the seven of... Pentacles can also refer to that to some degree. I think that that means that um, you guys are taking inventory of things in your life uh, more in a metaphorical way and seeing what you need to improve on and what you need to change in order to achieve the stability. And then I also want to talk about the lover's card. So the lover's card it can be is represented by the astrological sign of Gemini. So some of you might have a Gemini that's relevant in your life, but because it's in reverse, it tells me that whatever sort of fantasy love that you had planned isn't quite coming into uh, fruition. And the reason I feel that is because you're blocking it. So a lot of times whenever I see a card that talks about blessings in the reverse, I interpret that as those blessings being blocked uh, by you or for you. So I really am getting that once this tower moment takes place, you're going to start to see a huge uh, revolution or even revelation in love, especially with this sun card. Like I definitely feel that there's a level that you should be obviously thinking about and taking inventory and seeing what is best. But to another degree, like you don't really have to worry about it too much because it's gonna end up positively in the end. You don't have to stress about it is what I should say. Do make sure though to put in the work for it. And then lastly, I wanna talk about sort of the Queen of Pentacles here and the King of Rods. So the Queen of Pentacles is very stable. She's very business minded. She's very down to earth. Uh, she likes to live in the realm of reality. She also likes material things. And a lot of a lot of the times that manifests itself in being a really hard worker so she can work and earn her things. But I think that what it is is that that's your energy, especially because the Queen of Pentacles can refer to Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn, which tells me that you are very much in a hardworking state right now. And I feel like to some degree that might be what is going on here because it almost looks like your partner here is the King of Rods. And the King of Rods, you know, he's business minded too, but to a more so extent, he's passionate, he's a little spontaneous, he's caring, um, he likes excitement and stimulation, mental stimulation. And I think that as a result, you're sort of like both on different pages a little bit and that's what's causing some of this friction. I think it may very well be possible that this tarot card might also uh, be for your partner or might very much affect your partner. So I'm gonna see that maybe they'll come over to your side a little bit and say, okay, yeah, we should focus on finances a little bit. But I think that at the same time, you should try to balance that out and say, okay, well, we can, you know, splurge every so often too. But 
the reason I, I, I'm sort of getting this energy that these people aren't quite on the same page is because, like I said earlier, the Queen of Pentacles is looking in one direction and the King of Rods is looking in the other. So it's almost like they're facing away from each other. But that doesn't have to be a bad thing for you guys. It could be like they they have each other's back. But like I was saying, it just takes a little bit of communication and a little bit of compromise. But I see you guys winning out in the end. Uh, I'm sorry if I sound like a broken record, but Six of Wands and the Sun card. I see definite energy for you guys. But that was your reading for this time around. If you guys enjoyed, please consider leaving a like or a comment. It really helps out the channel, and I'd love to know if it resonated with you. And like I said before, I upload my new Capricorn videos on Thursdays, and you guys are more than welcome to watch any of my other timeless readings that I have on this channel. And with that being said, I hope to see you guys next time for your next reading.